working at Sony in Japan in around the year 2001 and I decided that I wanted to come and live in uh, Kyoto. It's the first place I sort of came to in Japan uh, many years ago and I just fell in love with the place. It's a town very much for the, the sort of the artisan, I suppose. And having it out there every day just changes the way you think about, you know, creativity and what you're making. I can find things that can inspire me like every day. I thought, well, if I'm going to come all the way down to Kyoto from Tokyo, I want to start my own company. So that's one of my childhood dreams. So I did it. So I wanted to sort of step away from that sort of plastic office look. Um, and I wanted to create something that's a bit different, a bit more homemade, I suppose. You know, like all the desks in the office are all uh, sort of handcrafted. And like I helped lay down sort of the floor tiling and stuff. And, you know, we have a shoeless policy as well. So no one wears any shoes in the office. We've always had this kind of mix of, of the good things uh, about sort of the, 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 especially the Kyoto lifestyle and the good things about the Western lifestyle as well, sort of combining the two. Getting a nice hybrid, you know, sort of a comfortable kind of hybrid has been one of our goals. Well, the Tomorrow Children, um, it originated from the sort of base concept of the PlayStation 4. So when we heard about the PlayStation 4, we were told that it was going to be about sharing, putting videos online and playing together kind of thing. It's a game which involves you as a, uh, what we call a projection clone, created basically by this sort of upper echelon of, of Russian scientists, sort of the survivors of a, of a massive catastrophe that occurred in late 60s Russia. The entire human populace has been reduced to this void that you see around you. We've made a very flexible kind of sandbox um, that is kind of self-teaching. As long as you've got other players in there, you will see them doing things and you go, oh, I'll try doing that. And you realize what it does and you know, what result that has in the game. A lot of games are about instant gratification and sort of like the ego of the player. And, and ego is very important in games because it's a fantasy. But I wanted to try and remove a bit of that and make it a little bit more about us rather than just me. And I think the results you know, really speak for themselves. When you're playing the game, you really feel part of the, like this community, you know, working in this town and building it up and fighting against the monsters and you know, just playing through it. あのまあ、これまでソーシャルゲームというものがいろいろたくさん出てきたんですけど、まあ、ソーシャルとは言いつつも、まあ、みんな自分の目的のためにしかプレイしてなかったゲームが多かったと思うんですけど、まあ、今回この「トゥモロー・チルドレン」では本当にプレイヤー同士が一つの世界の中でつながって遊ぶという本当の意味でのソーシャルゲームになっているんじゃないかというところで、まあ、一言で表すとソーシャルアクションゲームと呼んでいます。The game has always been about kind of imagination and I wanted to sort of get rid of the baseline a little bit and just have people in a brand new environment that they've never played a game in before. When you go into the game you kind of feel a sense of communal whole. I think that's a different feeling to quite a lot of other games. For the players.